Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to compare the Dyson Airwrap to the Shark Flex Styler. Hey everyone, how you doing? I look like I'm about to freaking land an airplane here, okay? Let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, my voice is raspy again. I used to have an extremely raspy voice in the beginning of 2020. I have a cyst in my vocal cord. It usually flares up when I'm extremely stressed and a bitch has been stressed, let me tell you. One of these days, I'm gonna write a fucking book about everything that goes on behind the scenes that I can't talk about. So I spent $900 in total, so you don't have to. So today we're gonna be comparing these two products and I'm really excited because I've heard incredible things about the Shark and plus it's about $400 cheaper than the Dyson. This is $599, over $600 with tax and this was I think $275. So it is a significant difference in the price range. I'm really excited to try these out, so let's get into it. So when I purchased the Shark, it came with a bunch of attachments. I wanna show you guys these attachments and just show you how they differ from the Dyson. Now, when you purchase the Dyson, you get three different brushes. If I'm being completely honest with you, I don't see the purpose between these two. I know one of them is supposed to like smooth out the hair. I don't notice that big of a difference. They both move. You also get a round brush with the air wrap. Don't mind my hair sticking out of it. That's how you know I use it. With the shark, you are only getting one brush. Now this is a significantly large brush. So keep that in mind if you have short, thin hair. So for me, a brush like this might not be the size that's desirable because I do have very thin hair. Now, if we compare these two, you can really see just how large this guy is. It's giving Revlon. It's giving... Big boy, I need a big boy. Give me a big boy. If we move on to the curly air wrap attachments, we have two. The major difference here with Dyson is that you do get these two different sizes. You have a thicker barrel and a thinner barrel for your variation of curls. I do think that this, just looking at this and comparing, is the Dyson seems to be way more long hair friendly but with that being said, it really isn't that much larger in the grand scheme of things. Now, the one thing about the Dyson that they recently changed with their attachments that I am a big fan of is that there's not a bunch of different directional things. If you purchase the OG air wrap, then you already know that it came with four different attachments and they were different sizes and they went in different directions. With the air wrap, all you have to do now is spin this top with the new attachment to change the direction. That is something that I personally really like and right away think that it helps if you're about to travel. It makes it more compact that you don't have to bring two barrels. Now with the Shark, these are different directions. So you have the arrows right here letting you know in which direction the air will be rotating. That is the biggest difference when comparing the barrels. So it really just comes down to preference if that's something that bothers you. I'm someone that travels a lot, so if I can have the option to not bring two barrels along, that is something that I prefer. One thing that the Dyson Airwrap doesn't come with, and this is gonna be a major game changer for those of you that have curly hair like myself, we have a diffuser that came with the Shark. Now, the thing about the Shark is that this is a blow dryer and a curler all in one. I still reach for the Dyson blow dryer. I'm not really using my air wrap to blow dry my hair. So the biggest thing here is that this turns into a blow dryer for you to use. And you have the diffuser attachment that you can use like this. You can also use this little clip here to bring it up 
and use it in this way if you want to. So for hair prep, I love to use the Smith Weightless Air Dry Cream. It's a leave-in conditioner. I use this all the time on my hair and it's amazing. It really keeps my ends moisturized. Another product that I started using recently when I'm going to put my hair in a blowout situation is the Color Wow Dream Coat. This is literally amazing if you have I hate to say it, but if you have similar texture to my hair, meaning like it's curly, it gets frizzy, especially if there's moisture in the air, this is what you need because it really, really helps with that frizziness to keep it down. It's incredible. I don't know where this has been my whole life. If I had this in middle school, I could have avoided hearing that I was the girl with the poofy hair. <laughs> But that's okay, we have it now. So I'm gonna brush my hair, get all the products through. Oh, I also just got my conch pierced. What do you guys think? Both conches. I went to studs on Melrose in Hollywood. Now I'm like addicted. So I went ahead and just parted my hair down the middle like I normally do because Gen Z says it's cool. So I am going to blow dry my hair with the shark on the left side. Okay, that kind of got my hair with a rough dry really quick. Granted, I know it's only half of my head. I want to now do the same thing on the other side with the Dyson, and we're gonna move to the brush attachment. Obviously, with the Dyson here, we have a very different blow dryer attachment. We have air that comes out of here, or you can change it to be directional from the top. It has a smoothing option for the flyaways, which obviously the Shark doesn't. Right off the bat, I do feel like it is a lot easier to actually blow dry your hair with the shark because of that spinning feature that the actual base of the shark thing has. I want to see if like this would work on my sort of hair because of how big this is. I mean, it's like bigger than my fucking face. Okay, and this is exactly why you should never judge a book by its cover. I'm actually shocked at how easy this was to use. I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult. Um, obviously, I'm not going crazy here with the making it pin straight because we are gonna curl it. And with my specific hair, I cannot have my hair pinned straight before a curl, otherwise it will never, ever, ever hold a curl ever again. So, I do feel like I'll be able to use this on my hair. So let's go ahead and brush this side of my hair with the Dyson. You know, if I'm gonna be honest, I honestly feel like the bigger brush is a bit easier. I do feel like I'm having to like move this a bit more. And obviously I know I could just use this attachment, but it's hard to compare because that is a brush and a round brush in one. Whereas like I have the two different attachments here for this, for what I need. If I had to pick right away what is easier to use, for a brush attachment, I would probably say the Shark because it's got the brush and, and the round brush kind of in one, whereas this, you're switching out. You know, I'm going on a little bit more of like the convenience level of things and like beginner friendly. Does that really matter to me? No, that doesn't matter to me at all. I still really love my Dyson and I still love the brush and the round brush attachment. I'm just trying to think of like convenience, you know, and how these two are different. It is time for obviously the biggest portion of this, which one holds a curl the best? It's like that question, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? All right, so we are gonna start with the shark side and I like to section my hair off in a very weird way because I just do it this way, I don't know. I asked you guys once before if I sectioned my hair weird and a bunch of you guys said no. So I'm gonna go with I don't section it weird. All right, here we go. Okay, first curl, looking cute. Spray it and we move on. Right off the bat with just this little section, it's curling the same and it's holding a curl and it's looking pretty good. So obviously, let's just continue. There's a part of me that's wondering if like, oh, bitch, that might be easier to do. It's so much easier this way. Holy shit. 
with this shark i do find that it's picking up a lot more hair than the air wrap does um, I feel like the new attachments on the air wrap are actually really good at making sure it doesn't pick up a lot of hair around you. So that's just something to like keep in mind as personal preference. All right, y'all. Here is the shark side. So I'm going to let it sit with the hairspray, the curls, all that jazz and we're gonna go ahead and do this side with the Dyson you guys have seen me use the Dyson a million and one times so I'm gonna breeze through this and we'll see at the end which one I like better I do feel like I'm a lot quicker with the Dyson just because of where the buttons are placed so you know it's kind of one of those things where you have to decide what's important for you and also I'm a very small person I'm five feet like I'm pushing five feet so like I have very very tiny hands so that might not be a concern for the majority of normal sized humans <laughs> I feel like the shark side is looking a lot more messy compared to the Dyson side. Obviously, I still need to like brush it out. I always wind up doing touch-ups anyway, even when I'm using the Dyson after I brush it out. But I really hope this freaking works or I'm gonna be pissed. Y'all better like and subscribe. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Dyson, shark. I'm gonna let the Dyson sit for a little bit longer, but like, Right off the bat, I just feel like the shark looks messier and I, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to find a dupe for you guys, okay? So when I run my fingers through it, we can see that I obviously am in need of some touch-ups. So let's go ahead and do some of those touch-ups right now. There is a perfect example of the shark really, really, really being a lot more difficult to section the hair and the hair getting sucked in. I didn't have a problem with the Dyson at all on that. On the old Dyson attachments, yes. But on the new Dyson attachments, I think they've done a wonderful job at really making the air be directional and be better at not sucking up a bunch of hair. Okay, so I don't wanna keep having to touch up my hair so I'm gonna leave it at this. Let's do a little hairspray just to kind of keep what we have in place for right now. And let's go ahead and brush out this Dyson side. I will say the Dyson gave me a lot more volume. You can see that right away. Brush right here to bring some of it down. I'm like, girl, that's too much volume. I really, really fucking wanted to like this. I just feel like the curl attachments aren't up to par with the way that the Dyson side looks. I mean, this is night and day for me. This side looks extremely flat. It really isn't giving the way that the Dyson side is giving. And I'm honestly shocked because I've seen a lot of people use the Shark and it looked just as good, if not better than the Dyson. I feel like I would use this more for the diffusing aspect. I think this attachment is really cool. And I also think that as a blow dryer, this is a lot better than the air wrap. I think both of these have their fair share of like, this isn't that great at blow drying. This is great at blow drying. This holds a curl way better, gives me a lot more volume. This has a diffusing option. This doesn't. So, you know, I really think that it's preference and also your hairstyle. Now, I'm very lucky to have gotten sent the Dyson blow dryer. I paid for this air wrap, so I honestly think that this is better than the Dyson blow dryer if I had to pick. I honestly would love if Shark would come out with like better attachments, the curl attachments. I think there's something here that's just not holding a curl and usually my left side holds a curl way better than my right side. I would say save up your money and go for the air wrap. If you are looking for curls in the way that the Dyson is giving, go with the Dyson. If you are looking for a blow dryer, go with the Shark. So that is my honest review. I am still going to continue to use my air wrap for the curling aspect of things. When it comes to blow drying and if I'm wearing my hair curly, I definitely 
am a huge fan of the Shark. I think it's a lot easier to use. I definitely think that the attachment is really nice. I like that you can adjust this to make it longer depending on you know the length of your hair. Whereas the Dyson blow dryer, it's kind of only one, one length. Damn it, I'm really sad, yo. I'm so sorry, guys. I really wanted this to work. I even used it on the side where my hair curls better, okay? All right, guys, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.